all right, I don't even know how to start this video because I'm like giddy. I am a giddy little girl. I'm sucking down my coffee and reading over, I can't show you any of it, but I'm reading over the Ultimate Alps motorcycle tour that I'm going on in Europe this upcoming summer with my husband and we're gonna be riding with Tour 1 the Swiss Alps. We're gonna go through seven different countries and I've mentioned it on the channel a couple times, but I'm just like giddy. I'll have a link down in the description if you guys wanna go check out tour one before uh, it even starts. The tour is completely sold out. They are packed, they offer amazing tours, but I just wanted to let you guys know that before I get into this video. So here I am minding my own business, uh, reading over this, you know, this booklet and my motorcycle is just like sitting right back there and here I am like daydreaming of riding through the Swiss Alps and all of these amazing like European countries and I'm like you know what I can read this later I'm gonna save this for a rainy day and hop on my bike and go enjoy a beautiful ride here in Ohio um, before we hop on the motorcycle more trucks are gonna drive by and it's gonna be unnecessarily loud through here but um, I don't know where I'm gonna go. I just remember I went to a really cool bar and restaurant on the Muskingum River last year, and I haven't been back since. So I actually just got on Rever, um, not sponsored. I do use this app when I'm trying to look for twistier routes instead of just straight shots like Google Maps. So I just typed in this location called Terry's Tavern and I clicked on twisty route. So if you guys are interested, um, check out Rever, the app, R-E-V-E-R and give it a shot it's actually pretty cool let's see what kind of roads it takes us down so all right officially hopping on the motorcycle well 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 look who showed up you gonna come join me on a ride yes it'll be fun was voluntold <laughs> voluntold yeah, I forced him this poor man to hop on a beautiful motorcycle and go for a nice ride with his wife your life sucks. <laughs> so why are you on the BMW? I didn't feel like digging the dyno out. Yeah, it's buried back there. <laughs> so Jordan is actually going to be uh, riding this bike down to probably North Carolina here within the next month. So he's trying to reacclimate to the motorcycle and get his sea legs back, I suppose. So he's on that white beauty. I'm on this white beauty. And we're going to go on a nice twisty ride. All right, I hope you guys can see my screen, but basically I'm in Apple CarPlay right now and I'm going over to the Rever app, clicking on route options and I want to do twisty roads. So that's already highlighted. And now I'm gonna go back and search Terry's Tavern. And then it's gonna show me a route. So go, and that's it. So I actually went for a really wonderful ride yesterday with my husband on the BMW and a couple friends that we live close to. And I didn't film any of it. I don't know what was going on yesterday. I was just having a really bad day, like a mentally bad day, not like anything bad actually happened. I just, you know, I got it out of my system. I went for a ride, I got it out of my system, and then I woke up today and it's equally as beautiful. And I said, yep, today we're going for a ride to film. <laughs> <laughs> because I have learned the hard way when you have a YouTube channel you are not allowed to have bad days on the internet y'all hate anything other than rainbows and sunshine baby you hate it <laughs> the one thing I am a little nervous about taking these back roads is uh it, it, we've had so much rain and up here when you live in the snow belt you just get so many dirty dirty country roads there's a lot of gravel a lot of silt a lot of sand and it's a little nerve-wracking especially earlier on in the season when you're just kind of getting your legs again for riding and dead animals we always got dead animals but my husband was actually out having lunch with a friend oh hey buddy my husband was actually out having lunch with a friend and I decided, I was like, yeah, you know, I kind of want to go to this place where you can sit by the water. I remember being there. I remember loving it. It was just a little chilly the last time I went. So I just got on Rever, looked up a twisty route and uh, I know how to get there. I just don't know how to get there on back roads. So it's kind of nice to have that option. And it makes 
last minute decision riding, very easy. Usually I just go get lost. I don't really care about where I'm going. If I feel like I wanna take a twisty road, I usually just go get lost. And then, um, but today, since I had a destination in mind, Rever was perfect. And I love that I can use it in Apple CarPlay. It is a bit clunky. It's not as, uh, not as intuitive as Google Maps, but it is enjoyable. I am about due for another helmet. I think I've come to the conclusion this showy is just too hot. It is like 75 degrees, absolutely beautiful, stunning day today. I'm hitting all the butterflies, all the bugs. <laughs> uh, but this helmet is just too hot and I'm tired of it. So I wish I could wear my Rurock again because uh, that's a very nice lightweight helmet. But Rurock just doesn't make modular helmets. And that's what a lot of people ask me. They're like, why did you stop wearing your Rurock? I'm like, well, it's because I, I, when I do my long distance motorcycle trips, I need to be able to open up my face shield and stuff because I usually ride with a camelback and I like to drink water and stuff while I'm on the trip. And uh, I can't do that with a non-modular helmet. I kinda, I'm ready for a summer helmet again, but I just need to find a lighter weight modular one. I was using an HJC and that was the helmet that actually failed on me in the middle of a uh, halfway cross country motorcycle trip. I rode through some really, really gnarly storms and the helmet, the visor did not seal properly. So I got water in my visor and it almost killed me. Not only can I not see at night because of my astigmatism, but my visor is not waterproof. It's not weather sealed. It gets wet on the inside and when I wipe it, I, I still can't see because the inside of the visor is wet. So that's, I don't know if that was just a malfunction, a manufacturer malfunction, or if that really is just to get what you pay for. I've had other HJC helmets before, never a modular, so I'm really not sure. I just am not ready to take that risk again because I was scared for my life, man. <laughs> um, if you want to check out any of those videos where I was traveling back home from riding out west, you can head over to my playlist called Jess Goes West. It's one of my favorite playlists I've ever made and it's nothing but adventure. <laughs> I remember years ago, probably three years ago, I came riding through this road on my Dyna and it was not paved the way it is now. And it was horrendous. I just bottomed out my suspension at every single opportunity. And now it's nice and paved. This is lovely. Oh, oh, we got a one lane road ahead. <laughs> as, as you do when you want beautiful paved roads. I guess every so often they gotta do actual construction on it. But this right here, this, this is why I am so in love with Ohio. These rolling green hills, the beautiful trees, the beautiful, roads the twisty roads like everyone talks so much crap about ohio and i'm like you guys half of ohio is literally the foothills of the appalachia mountains quite literally we are halfway on the appalachia plateau so it's you just haven't been to the right parts and yes western ohio is horrendously flat and boring and i do not disagree with you i do my best not to ride out in western ohio also <laughs> i-70 west is the bane of my existence this looks like a ton of gravel yeah this is the stuff i was talking about i know it's really hard for you guys to see on camera but there is so much gravel on the roads here and it always seems to be in the apex of every single corner that you need to take. So we're just gonna take it a little easy. I do still have, I, I'm just talking with you guys, so I hope you're cool with it. I do still have the Clockworks windshield that I need to put on this bike. The Harley one works great, if I'm being honest, but that, I don't know if you can tell, cause I have you guys kind of low on my helmet, like the camera is sitting a little low. There is a pretty noticeable distortion in the windshield and uh for somebody my height when i'm going up over hills i literally can't see anything over the apex of that like hill so <laughs> i'm excited to put on the clockwork see if it has a little bit more visibility and if not i guess it is what it is maybe my new saddleman road sofa oh shit 
thought this is nothing but gravel. Maybe my new Saddleman Road sofa will allow me a couple extra inches to sit up a little bit higher. Do do do. Jordan's probably cursing me out right now. Woman, you always take me down the crappiest roads. Well, we're having an adventure. Mm, don't know what this guy is doing. Jeez, went over one tiny bump and almost whiskey throttle. Good God. <laughs> I probably should not be riding in a sport mode right now if I'm being completely honest. I'm trying to get more American people to check out international tourism like that. And I have personally talked to the owner of the company and I said, I think part of the reason, especially I'm, I'm speaking from personal experience, part of the reason I have not ventured out into looking into traveling abroad just yet is because north america the united states specifically has some of the most absolute stunning beautiful drop dead gorgeous and diverse scenery and roads in one nation i don't need a passport to ride from coast to coast you know okay i can't see anything oh jeez and uh, so for me, that just kind of holds me back on wanting to try to do things internationally because I'm like, there is still so much of my own country I haven't personally ridden through and seen. But then I was like, oh, okay, so I don't really have to use my big lady brain to go enjoy a gorgeous two week motorcycle trip through the Alps. Okay, yeah, I, you know what? I think that sounds like a pretty awesome idea. So anyway, yeah, once again, if you guys are interested in doing any kind of international travel, there are motorcycle rentals available. You can uh, obviously ship or bring your own motorcycle if you have a buddy that lives. <laughs> that was a bee. That was a bee inside of my helmet. And I don't know if it came out. I think it did. That was a bee. It almost went into my mouth in a full face helmet. I don't know how it okay i don't know how it got in there <laughs> that is traumatizing good lord maybe my vents it shouldn't go in through your vents now i'm just gonna be sweating my butt off even more closing these vents okay go check out the link in the description <laughs> this is definitely much nicer that's what i'm talking about wow look at that place um, but yeah, if you can see my screen, we are literally riding right alongside I-70. And uh, all you can see is like beautiful, twisty little corners and such. I love that. Hi, cows! Oh, hi! <laughs> Look at the baby cows! They had a babysitter too. Once again, yes, I am aware baby cows are called calves. That's not fun to say. <laughs> I call them baby cows. I tell everybody that like I'm a hobbit because I live in Ohio and it looks like the Shire, basically. <laughs> you get a little more into southeastern Ohio and it'll start looking a bit more uh, less hobbity and more creepy cool caves and caverns and cliffs and stuff like that. But up here in central Ohio, it's Hoppington. It's very nice. Look at that. Tell me. Tell me you don't think you could see a cool little hobbit in a hill. Man, whatever is like hatching right now, I don't know if it's uh, grasshoppers or bees or butterflies, but I am getting absolutely pelted. <laughs> it's like shrapnel. Just bugs. Jekyll and Hyde exhaust sounds so good. I forgot to turn it on like for half of this ride. Also, don't forget if you guys want to check out the Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde exhaust systems, it is a valve controlled exhaust so I can ride quietly when I want to. I can open it up and hear my motor if I want to. Um, I have a 10% off coupon code. So I'll have a link and the coupon code down in the description if you want to go check it out. It is really nice when you're on a super long distance ride and the wind is getting to you, your earplugs aren't doing enough and you can just shut off your exhaust and it's quiet. I love it, man. It's not for everybody. It is gonna save your sanity and your neighbors are actually gonna like you and be excited when you take your motorcycle out instead of thinking that there's that asshole Harley Davidson rider with his loud exhaust. 
look at this big old sweeper. I, I might have been down this road before, but I honestly cannot remember. It's lovely. Definitely going to come out here and ride more often. And I know a few of you are going to make a comment about where's my jacket, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, for everyone who comments that in this video, I'm just going to comment in response with the time marker for this exact part of the video. Hey man, how about you just let people enjoy what they want to enjoy? And today, after having a crappy day yesterday, today I really wanted to enjoy the sunshine on my skin and the wind. Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching. As of me filming this video right now, this video will not get published until a few days from now, so I cannot speak for real time you watching the video. But as of right now, Appa is not sold. I have quite a few. I have five pretty serious uh, potential purchasers, buyers right now. And this is going to sound really weird, but I'm just kind of waiting around to see who really wants him. Uh, I have a few people said that they've already started talking paperwork with their bank and stuff like that and they're really serious. So as of right now, Appa is still available. He has not sold. This is fun. Um, but I do not know how much longer that's going to last. So obviously I will keep you guys posted. That was a nice little hill. Also, I did get, I'm, I want to talk about this real fast. I did get a lot of comments on uh, the price of that bike and I'm very aware that I priced that motorcycle more than what it MSRP's for or you know Kelly Blue Book's for that thing is f***ing cool <laughs> that car was so cool anyway a lot of people were laughing at uh you know the price of Appa and saying that oh that bike is selling for like 18 19 thousand dollars on you know cycle trader and stuff like that I'm I'm very aware you guys this bike is not priced to sell Okay, there is another bug in my helmet. Appa is not priced to sell. Um, that does not mean price is not negotiable. I never said that was a firm price. I never said that I would not sell him for anything less. He's priced like that because I wanted serious inquiries only. And um, like I said, does not mean he's not negotiable, but I'm not gonna list him online publicly for what the average standard road glide is selling for that this i'm sorry i don't have to he's my bike he is loved by thousands and thousands of you guys online and if i have the opportunity to sell him to somebody who would truly cherish him that's what i want i'm not trying to make a buck this is not about the money i'm tr it's like this is my my dog or something i don't know it feels so weird and every time I ride him, I get so like, oh, I'm not doing the right thing. I'm not making the right choice. And then I hop on this bike and I'm like, Jesus, it's so nimble. It's so comfortable. I am making the right choice. This is a better ride. <laughs> it's just difficult. Please don't make me explain it again. I'm going to cry. Hi, kitty, kitty. Oh, mama kitty. She preggies. Welcome to Zanesville, Ohio. It's Bigfoot and fake dogs that would give every single person a heart attack driving by there thinking there's three dogs sitting next to the road. I'd crash my car before I hit a dog. Oh, ooh, damn. Hi, handsome. I put my sunshade down so I can see. Oh, 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 oh. feels so good with the visor open. Yeah, if you guys have any recommendations on uh, lightweight helmets, I'm about at my wit's end with this one. What is that? Oh, it's for trucks. Oh my God, that's genius. How have I never seen that before? <laughs> Getting out of here should be interesting, but Welcome to Terry's Tavern. Let's go check it out. Look at my girls. I've actually never been in from this door. Welcome to the beautiful brown Muskingum River. At least it's water. 
Okay, so <laughs> that section of the video where I just abruptly turned the camera off, I had a B in my shirt and I was like this close to ripping my shirt off inside of the bar. And uh, luckily that didn't happen. I went to the restroom and found no B, so I think it fell out like right as it happened. But yeah, I can still, still feel the sting. It's starting to swell up a little bit. So it happens no matter what I wear, t-shirts, jackets, everything. I get stung by bees every single year. But how's that ride, honey? <laughs> it's on face track. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm using my new DJI camera and it like tracks my face. So I should click on your face. Okay, now you're in focus. He's a man of many words. It's good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna shut this off before I get demonetized by the music playing in the background. Oh my gosh, it's so bright and it's so loud. If you guys are in the Zanesville area, definitely come check out Terry's Tavern, not sponsored, just a good spot right on the Muskingum River. And uh, we had a couple more friends. There we go, nice and shady. We had a couple more friends come meet up with us at the uh, tavern. So we're gonna head back over to my house and I'm gonna go grill some burgers. So hop back on the motorcycles. Look at all of these white bikes. Woo, we got the road glide, we got the Beamer, and we got the beautiful Lowrider ST. And uh, we're all gonna go back home and eat some burgers. You guys ready? Yep, sure. Let's ride. All right, let us see what you got going on in there. Look at them little buggies. Yeah, buggies. So we got the whole backyard set up out here. Look, this is all you need. We don't have any fancy gazebos or nothing. We just got some Aldi brand and Walmart brand condiments, some burgers, Doritos. Yeah, just let, turn the heat off, put some cheese on those bad boys and they'll, uh, they'll continue to cook for a little bit while we wait. Look at your little burgers. He's doing so good. I am proud of you. This is gonna sound so condescending because a lot of people think men control the grill. Jordan controls literally everything else in our life except the kitchen. <laughs> it's gonna sound super sexist and, uh, you know, traditional, but that man can't cook. He's learning, but if we need to eat, it's not Jordan's responsibility. <laughs> Ed, what have you done? Oh no. What have you brought to my home? Traxxas. TRXL. Oh. You're hung up on the This is Jordan. No. This is the greatest day of my life. No, 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 no. You can't take this away from me. Yes, I can. Watch me. I'll pick it up. And he's got the four way flashers on. This is what I deal with. I know they are. They're right behind me. Time to eat dinner. Oh, you could put up a, a barn board over that. That'd be fine. Mm -hmm. But the backside used to be a garage door. Now it's like two big barn doors split. 